Gaming was such an easy way for people to become involved with computers uh, because of the fun value. Because of the, uh, they were so intriguing. Video games were were a remarkable addition uh, to to our daily life. And it's so funny because it really centers around even more than just the video game itself. It centers around the arcade. I was passionate about the games in an imaginative kind of way and now it's really about sort of reconnecting with that. I opened up an arcade as an excuse to be able to play more video games. I remember back in like 81 or 82 the arcade scene was huge. Everywhere you would turn would be an arcade. I mean you couldn't get away from them. I got older, I started missing the nostalgia of, 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 of the games and of the, the social life I had with the friends, so I started collecting my own games to bring back both the nostalgia and a new social group of people that enjoy what I enjoy, which is playing the classic games. Where do I begin? Uh, I just remember going to the arcade with my dad when I was younger. and. Uh, it's just that memory of just going into the arcade, stepping foot into it, opening the doors, and just hearing a blast of sound hitting the face. Uh, just seeing rows of games with people lined up to play them. And uh, the, the arcade was alive. And the friendship is as big a part of collecting the arcade games as the arcade games are. I mean, as passionate as we are, the nostalgia and all that, you and I developed a great friendship. It's one of the things that, for me, is the collecting of the games is not only something that brings back memories, but the collecting of it is, like, it, it gets into you. It really does. You start feeling like these games are a part of you. What I miss the most about uh, arcade games was looking forward to the new game. It's, it's a challenge keeping these games that are 30 years old working, but that's what we do here. We fix them up, get them working, and keep them original. No matter how much space you have, you find out a way to fill it, <laughs> and then you don't have space anymore. Yeah, yeah. So, so you have one of two options, buy more storage units or sell games, and you know, you can't sell games. I thought I was the only kid on the block with an arcade machine. I fell in love with Space Invaders, and where I was the person that was kind of jumping to, to see what was going on, 
and I put my quarter on there and, and when I finally got that chance to play it was like a rush, an emotional rush and I was hooked. I mean, I couldn't think of anything but Space Invaders. It was a magical time and I've never forgotten it. It made an impression on me that that nothing's ever made that kind of impression on me. I, I can't even put it into words because it's so many things. When I walk into my arcade, I honestly do feel like I have stepped back in time and I even refer to it as my time machine. And I've even said to some friends, well, if you ever need to go to 1982, just let me know. the rebirth of the golden age of gaming. Go to the arcade. Oh, the video grid!